but in the last 24 hours some huge travel news has broken that uh, Thomas Cook has collapsed. For those of you who don't know, Thomas Cook is a holiday firm. It has been around in some form or another for 178 years. It's an airline, it's a tour operator that delivers hundreds of thousands of customers to their holidays every year all across the globe. And not only that, it has tens of thousands of staff with it but within the last 24 hours, it has ceased trading. Today, I just wanna try and delve into a couple of reasons of why uh, the company has collapsed. Before I do that, I just wanna deal with two things. Uh, the first of that being the media attention at the moment is solely focused on there is anywhere between 150 to 155,000 people that are having to be emergency flown back to the, their home destination from where they are across the globe at the moment. What is getting some attention as the story unfolds is all the thousands of people that are now without a job. They will have gone about the weekend doing their job with you know, a difficult smile on their face because they're doing the job that they love, but also with the knowledge that on Monday, i.e. today, uh, they would be without a job, they would have been made redundant. Secondly, let's look at the numbers. Now, these next five figures come officially from Thomas Cook as a source. 22,000 jobs at risk worldwide. 9,000 jobs from the UK at risk. 150,000 British customers to be repatriated. 450,000 customers affected worldwide. And on top of that, there's 34 planes also that the company owns. And here's some other figures that I found online. In 2011, the company already had 1.1 billion pounds worth of debt on its books. And of August this year, that was 1.7 billion. In August this year, Thomas Cook managed to secure 900 million in a rescue deal by its largest shareholder, which was a Chinese firm named Fosun. But recently, the banks turned around and said that they required another 200 million on top to just make sure that everything was secure, which threw the deal completely in doubt. Over the weekend, Thomas Cook requested that the government step in with a 250 million injection, which was declined. You get the picture of how bad this situation was. And now it's time to delve into why it got so bad and why the company collapsed. Firstly, Thomas Cook itself has cited, amongst many things, politics as a reason for its demise. It cited political unrest in places such as Turkey and Egypt as a huge factor. And when politics and violence erupts in these areas, it has a knock-on effect, deterring customers from going to these destinations and also people wanting to change holidays had they already pre-booked. On top of that, it also cited last summer's heat wave here in the UK. We also had the Football World Cup, so a lot of people decided actually not to travel outside of the UK. It also cited Brexit. Brexit has been an ongoing uh, issue now for three and a half years. Uh, it has created a lot of uncertainty, and season after season, there's this period now where customers have held off booking their holidays just to see what the outcome of Brexit is. And by holding off, there's been no cash going through the books of companies such as Thomas Cook. Number two, according to the Financial Times, the Thomas Cook business model was flat-footed. It booked months in advance for hotel rooms when it came to summer holidays. And yet there were other companies such as Jet2 that were far more better suited to matching what consumer demands required. Another point, and I wanna just stress that this is my own personal opinion and attempt of an explanation, and that is talking about the market and the trends within the market. So if I can just try and elaborate more. For decades, a package holiday has been the go-to product for customers to buy when they want to travel away. If you booked a package holiday, you knew exactly what you were getting. Pretty much everything was included. But however, as the market has evolved and we've moved into the 21st century, the, the demand for a uh, all-inclusive package holiday has declined. And as such, over so many years when these huge companies have 
bought more and more companies under themselves. Thomas Cook is one that had num numerous companies under its brand, uh, same as TUI. What that had led to was a saturated market. That's just one side of it. We now have the emergence of a new market. Companies now such as Airbnb, uh, Hotel Trivago, uh, Skyscanner, uh, sites solely dedicated to providing you with the cheapest options for each section of a holiday. And people now with the, uh, with the internet being connected all the time are far more willing to go about it themselves rather than going to the nearest travel agent. So the requirement for that has gone and this all has a knock-on effect which for companies for years have been at the top of their game and that, um, that is Thomas Cook. The other blatantly obvious point to make is just how poor Thomas Cook's financial management was. The figures that I mentioned at the start of the video clearly demonstrate that and this therefore was not a problem that had arisen in the last six months or even the last year. This is something that had been seriously wrong with the way the company had conducted its business and dealt with its finances for well over 10 years to have allowed almost two billion pounds to have racked up in your company with debt and it is really a shame to see how this has all come about and how it's reared its ugly head this weekend but uh, unfortunately uh, that is uh, what has happened all i just wish is that everybody who has been involved with it i wish them the best and hope that they get uh, the resolution they deserve i hope they get home safely but um, listen, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video today. It's not been a sort of a very uplifting, smiley, happy video, but I thought it was something to really kind of delve into today. And hopefully some of you have found this useful and informative. If you've had, it would mean the world to me if you could hit the like and the subscribe button just to help the channel keep growing. Um, and I will see you guys next time with a new video.